A mom of two young kids, seven months pregnant, tells me she gets it. She has pandemic fatigue too. But for her, it's impossible to ignore COVID-19 because since March, it has been her job to care for some of the sickest patients and to be there in their final moments. She's exhausted and it's only getting worse. The long days have morphed into months. Preserving PPE is still the game. My mask today that I pulled out first um, is from May 27th. PPE is sterilized, so it'll last. They planned and prepared, so nurse practitioner Sarah Wadier is disheartened that the work is now becoming tougher than ever before. Wadier works in the first COVID-19 unit at Nebraska Medicine. There are now 10. Sometimes it's just full of death sometimes, and then to walk into the real world that people don't think that it's real has been, um, it's been an added element of mental gymnastics. Wadier had COVID-19. She says she did not get it from a patient. As a pregnant mom, she worried about her baby and her family. Fortunately, she had a mild case. She understands some people don't see the evil of this disease, but says, you never know who it'll grasp with its full might. I was getting out of my driving clothes and my husband came in and I just wept. I wept to him that I couldn't save him. I couldn't save him and I couldn't. Um, but we were set up to fail in some of these situations where we're fighting an enemy that we can't beat sometimes. Nebraska Medicine allows families to come in to say their goodbyes after being separated from the person they love, sometimes for weeks. There's no... There's no way to describe the, the sound that, I mean, we've lost some young patients and there's no way to describe the sound of a weeping mother knowing there's nothing else that she can do to save her adult child. It's just, it's not fair. And the, to try to comfort them through that is really difficult when physical touch is so limited too. And her greatest fear, they won't have the ability to save some lives as they're trained to do. But it won't just be choosing to save a COVID patient or not. It will be, we have one ICU room left and it's first come first serve. So if it's a, a heart attack or a stroke or a car accident or whoever is second in line, if there's no room, then there's no room. And I don't know how we do that. But she, like so many other healthcare workers, will be there, cloaked in care. I have the skill set to be able to take care of these people now. I have some of the most experience with these patients. And so if I'm able to do it, then I should. Hoping all the while those outside the hospital do what they can in return. And so she asks, wear a mask and limit your interactions with others. She says ahead of Thanksgiving, she hopes people strongly think about whether that gathering is worth losing a loved one in such a devastating way.